chaos. Capital chaos. Capital chaos. Capital chaos TV. Hi, this is Empire, and I'm with Capital Chaos TV at Shoreline Vans Warp Tour. I am sitting with Jake from In Hearts Wake, and I'm super excited to talk with him about everything that's been going on in his world. How are you feeling today on this beautiful Saturday? Loving this beautiful Saturday. Temperature is spot on, and I'm very excited to play in an hour. In an hour. Okay, so do you have any rituals before you perform, or do you just go into it? Uh, I stretch. I have a little, few little vocal warm-ups just to make sure I'm on point. Um, I feel like the stretching is the ritual though, definitely, because it's a lot of, it's a lot of jiving around up there. Yeah. So. Right. And so I understand that you are from Australia. How long have you been here in the states? Is in just this tour? You mean how long? Oh yeah, since Warp Tour started. So June twentieth, we flew in. It's been s seven weeks. Um, this is our four, wait, our fifth American tour. We did four last year, and this is our fifth tour. So yeah, I've been touring here for sixteen months since we started, and it's been going really well. And will you be going home after this, or are you going to stick around with us for a while? Uh, we're in Portland for two weeks, just checking out the forest, mm -hmm. getting lively. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do that, and then we're home for a few months. So why Portland? Because Oregon is a beautiful, beautiful state, but I'm just curious. Well, the tour ends in Portland, okay. and to top that off, it's just, as you said, it's just like, a, it's if you want to go find waterfalls, it's the place. So the band figured, why not, let's make the most of our time while we're here, and Rent a car and get a cabin in the woods and just see what happens. Oh, so it's just going to be the band members doing that? Yep. Correct. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. That's what you need after something like yeah. this. After all the parking lots. <laughs> you need some trees. <laughs> Do you guys spend a lot of time in the parking lots? Because you're the second person that said that. Yeah, well, every, every tour, mm -hmm. the, van, the vans and buses have to park somewhere. Yeah. So find the biggest parking lot and that's probably where Vans Warp Tour is going to be. Yep. <laughs> it's called Vans Parking Lot. Um, all right, so sh uh, you guys are a band that talks a lot about environmental social issues. I'm somebody that's very passionate about things that are going on in the world. So to narrow it down, is there anything right now in your world immediately that's concerning you with things that you see in our universe? Um, narrow narrowing it down to one specific thing is quite hard because it's just so many pieces of a, yeah. of a bigger puzzle. But I feel like just in general... Um, human being connection with nature is like the most important thing because once we have that connection we then appreciate our national parks our clean water everything that we need to survive our air food and water and when you have that relationship with nature as we once did as human beings relying completely on the land you would uh, understand that you know by hurting and harming our world we harm ourselves as well so it's how to live co you know in coexistence and also evolve as human beings it's quite a challenges we're finding for our species yeah it is so if you had any suggestions or advice for people that are watching this that are going to listen to you and look up to you to lead by example what are some of the things that we can do to protect our world to be better people well i mean you've got to be conscious with what you consume um being resourceful with everything i mean you, no one's perfect i mean i get a plastic bag from when i go shopping sometimes and i can't carry it all on my arms you know so yeah. you just do what you can but uh i mean just on a human being level, get out and in nature. Um, don't go with a, you know, I'm trying to heal the world and heal the planet. Just go out and get out in nature and you'll find that you'll just, uh, you know, want to do everything that uh, works with that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'd say um, would be, I mean, some people want to go, would like to go the vegan route. Um, it doesn't work for everyone. There's many things you can do yeah. to help the planet, but uh, be conscious and, um, yeah. Okay. So just to touch on people getting out of the house, what are your thoughts on the Pokemon Go thing? Because I guess in one aspect, people are on their phones. and the other aspect, it's getting them out and they're checking out their city and their world and they're walking. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, interesting one. Um, I mean, if, if, if it makes people happy, then I'm, I'm all for it at the end of the day. Um, but is it making people on their phones more? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I wouldn't be looking at it like, oh, but they're getting outdoors. Um, at the same time, people are connected but they're not really connected it's disconnecting as well so i'm not against or for it it's fine if people enjoy themselves go for it but uh put the phone down and look around too yeah. that's what i have to say yes. be aware yes. of your surroundings yes i think it's good to put our phones down and it's also really good to take our shoes off and connect with mother nature every now and then i do not believe we're supposed to wear shoes no no, no. The, ru <laughs> the, the rubber and whatever you've got on beneath your feet definitely interrupts the, the electromagnetic field going through the body for sure all right, well, now that we got completely off topic from your music, 
much I love. Is there anything else you want to share with us or anything that you have going on for 2016 with your band? Um, 2016, it's just a, another, another year of growth and we would like to write some more music and get some more of the things we believe in out in the music for next year, I hope. And uh, yeah, check out what we're about. And our previous records, we, uh, as a matter of fact, we planted a tree for every record that we pre-ordered in Australia. So we made it in the, in the middle of the Australian desert in Western Australia where it was, you know, huge. Uh, like the, the habitat was just screwed over. Was no, the animals had no shelter, nothing. And we planted, we, we were able to fund the planting of uh, 1,347 trees, which is, if you look at it in a, the photo and the aerial footage afterwards, it goes from complete desert to like a, just a massive forest full of kangaroos and all sorts of wildlife. And I mean, we helped facilitate that, but the, the fans did that, you know? So things like that, going back to the question before, is just really cool ways of bridging that. And uh, yeah, see what we're about, check it out. That is so impressive. Not only are you leaving us with this music that's not gonna go anywhere, you basically helped the environment in a permanent way. Like, I just wanna thank you personally. That's extremely, extremely selfless of you. So thank you so much. Oh, fans, <laughs> you gotta thank the fans too. It's, yes, uh, and thank the fans, because. The vessel, they're driving the ship, they're helping out. All right, so check out In Hearts Wake, find them, ask for them to come to your city, and uh, they're not going to go anywhere. And this is Capital Chaos TV. Thank you so much.